Have you ever been on an aeroplane when they've said, is there a doctor on board? And did you ever feel like you could get up and help? Um, no and no. <laughs> Thank goodness. I, I, yeah, I, I am worried about that and people kind of give me sideways looks and why aren't you going to help out? But I, funnily enough, that it's never happened to me. People have never expected me to give them medical advice. So, really? yeah, my explanation for that is like if they do watch the show, that I must be a terrible doctor because <laughs> they think, oh, he is a doctor, but a bad one. So we won't ask him for advice. Because I've watched years and years of ER and Shortland Street and Grey's Anatomy. I, I feel like I could do an emergency. I feel the same way. Maybe? I feel like I could do yeah. that. That's the tracheotomy. Those are easy ones. You just, you know, make a little <laughs> slit in the throat and shove in a pen. That, uh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's I mean, it's a bit more complicated. But that's but, bizarre. Yeah. People haven't asked you because baddies on the show, like it's notorious that if you're a baddie on the show and then you're at New World or something, that people are like, you know, and, and they're really angry when they see the baddie because they think the baddie is a baddie in real happen. life. It does happen. Yeah, but it doesn't work the other way so much with the with the medical advice. I, I don't know. Like I say, I, I think they, they think I'm a doctor, but a bad one. So that, that's my only explanation for it, you know, because I, I really, I've never been asked any medical okay. advice. That's yeah. good.